Welcome! In this clip we'll be doing a mindful movement sequence together and we'll be doing it in a seated down position. I'll start by just briefly introducing the practice and going through some preliminary steps and then we'll do the movement sequence together. Now there are many aspects to movement practice ranging from the physical to the energetic to awareness and there are very rich uh, traditions such as yoga and qigong that are explicitly focused around movement and we will be drawing from these traditions uh, as we do this uh, quite simple but powerful mindful movement sequence. So when we combine these three different aspects of movement the physical with the energetic with awareness we'll find that mindful movements can be a very powerful technique uh, for us to simply come back into the present moment because the body is always abiding in the here and in the now but most of us spend a lot of our time up in our head uh, with our thinking mind analyzing judging thinking remembering planning and so on and so we'll find it difficult to kind of access the, the present moment and become uh, genuinely mindful so these type of sequences can be a very effective way to actually come back into the body to feel into the physiology of the body and then into more subtle states even reaching absorption and, and mindful states through uh, the awareness of movement there's also the physical aspect of moving and this is quite important because if if we're not aware of our body, our posture, the way we're sitting, the way we're holding our body and the way we move, uh, we will tend to get into uh, static positions and this can over time cause chronic stress and pain. Uh, we find ourselves sitting a lot in today's society, maybe sitting by a desk, sitting in front of a computer, looking into a device and um, we often have back support so leaning back tending uh, which which basically cause the, the neck to overcompensate by leaning forward we're hunching over maybe a computer and so our shoulders roll forward uh, our chest becomes compressed our breath becomes more shallow uh, there's a lot of tension and pressure on our backs and if our awareness is in our thinking mind or in the virtual world then we tend to forget our bodies. We don't listen to the signals that the body is sending. So these type of movement sequences can also be a very important aspect of our lives in terms of reminding ourselves of our bodies, increasing the body awareness and also realigning the spine and simply stretching out and, and, re, and uh, regaining a, a more uh, conscious way of uh, being embodied. So before we begin the practice, a final aspect to mention, which is quite important, is the breath. Because the breath really connects our awareness with our body. And so the more fully you can be conscious and aware of the breath as you're doing the movements, the more fully you'll be able to enter into the experience, enter into the body. So if we get disconnected from our breath, we typically dis become disconnected from our body and the wisdom of our body. And that's when we tend to get into uh, obsessive thinking or also in terms of movement, that's when we're mo more likely to hurt ourselves. So staying connected with the breath is quite important. And we're going to do a little bit of controlled breathing uh, to make the breath longer and deeper and more smooth so as opposed to meditation where we're more observing the breath in this movement sequence we'll also be uh, putting a slight bit of intention and control of the breath as well so with that said uh, let us get started and i'll just set up the camera here in the meanwhile you can find a place to sit comfortably Okay, so as you find your way into a seated position, you can begin already by connecting with your breath. Maybe finding a little bit of a deeper breath and just feeling into each in-breath and out-breath. Mm. 
you may want to make sure that the way you're sitting doesn't put any extra strain on your neck or your back so if you're sitting on a chair try to move forward a little bit so that you don't have the back support and that you can find a natural and straight back and you may also want to make sure that the hips are higher than your knees otherwise you would kind of uh, cause a slight uh, need for, for balancing and this will cause extra strain on your muscles in your back and you'll be less uh, able to, to relax. So make sure that whether you're sitting cross-legged on the floor or on a chair that uh, your, your knees are not higher than your hips. You can rest your hands in your lap or wherever they're comfortable and come into a deeper breathing. You may want to close your eyes for a minute and breathe in to the count of five. And then breathe out to the count of five. Breathing in to the count of five, drawing the breath deep into your lungs and abdomen. Relaxing on the out breath to the count of five, releasing, letting go. On your next in-breath, you can put your palms out to the side and on your in-breath, you open up and lift your arms up over your head, letting your palms and fingertips meet above your head. On the out-breath, following the center, the midline of your body as you breathe out, opening up your palms to the side. On the in-breath, lifting the arms. Breathing in to the count of five, breathing out to the count of five, feeling into the movement. Continue in your own pace. And on the in-breath, drawing the breath all the way up to the collarbones, perhaps lifting your gaze a little bit as if you're looking up into the sky. Relaxing on the out-breath. Finding length on the in-breath and feeling into the body and relaxing on the out-breath. In your next out-breath, you can let your hands rest on your lap. Connecting with your breath, perhaps closing your eyes. Just sensing what is here in this moment. And as you're ready, you can place your right hand on your hips, on your, in your waist, and then lifting your left arm on an in-breath, on the count of, count of five, staying with the hand above your head, relaxing in your shoulder and yet finding length on the in-breath, finding relaxation on the out-breath. And as you're ready, you can start leaning over to your right side and feeling into this bend, staying at 70% of your maximum. So not straining, not pushing yourself, but just feeling into what this leaning and this stretch feels like. Relaxing in your shoulders, finding length on the in-breath, Finding relaxation on the out-breath, softening. What happens if you pull your left shoulder blade slightly back and the shoulder blade slightly together?
finding length on the in-breath, find feeling into the body and finding relaxation on the out-breath. Staying connected with the breath, in-breath to the count of five, and out-breath to the count of five. And then as you're ready, your in-breath coming back to the center, on the out-breath tracking your hand as it moves through space all the way to your waist and then lifting the right arm to the count of five feeling in your hand as you move and finding length on the in-breath and relaxing feeling to the count of five as you breathe out lengthening on the in-breath relaxing and feeling on the out-breath and as you're ready you can start leaning over to your left side finding length on the in-breath softening on the out-breath no strain no pushing yourself no pain just feeling into the posture finding length on the in-breath relaxation and feeling the body on the out-breath Perhaps pulling the shoulder blade a little bit back, the shoulder blade slightly together, and breathing length on your in-breath to the count of five. Relaxing on the out-breath to the count of five. Relaxing your face, the muscles, your shoulders. as you're ready coming back up to the center and tracking your hand as it moves through space finding rest in your lap taking a few breaths here just to sense what's present in this moment and then when you're ready putting your left hand on your right knee and your right hand on your waist preparing for a spinal twist so finding length in your spine on the in-breath and relaxing and feeling on the out-breath finding length on the in-breath and on the out-breath tracking the horizon with your gaze as you twist over the right shoulder breathing gently and finding a smooth breath finding length on the in-breath and a gentle twist on the out-breath just gently feeling into the length of the spine if possible pull your shoulder blades slightly together finding length on the in-breath and feel the body on the out-breath next in-breath coming back to the center opposite hand on the knee hand to the waist finding length on the in-breath and start rotating in the other direction gently on your out-breath
Breathing in to the count of five and finding length in your spine. Relaxing to the count of five, breathing out, gently twisting. Just feel the entire length of your spine and relax your body. No straining, no pain, no pushing yourself. Just feeling, lengthening on the in-breath, and feeling on the out-breath. Next in-breath, coming back to the center and coming to rest with your hands in your lap. You may want to close your eyes and simply connect with the experience of this present moment. And as you're ready, you can place your palms on your lower back, finding length now on the in-breath and relaxing down into your seat on the out-breath, down through the pelvic floor and down through your sit bones, breathing length in your, on your in-breath. Perhaps feeling the lower abdomen slightly being pulled into your spine on the outbreath. Pulling your shoulders slightly back and your shoulder blades together. And feeling almost as if your heart is breathing forward. Finding also length through the back of the neck and the base of the skull. Breathing your heart forward and relaxing on the out-breath. On the next in-breath, perhaps lifting your gaze a little bit as if you're looking up into the sky and feeling the heart being breathed forward, opening up the chest and the area around your heart. Relaxing on your out-breath, seeing what you can feel in your body. And then gently releasing, once, and once again coming with your hands to your rest on your lap. Perhaps closing your eyes and connecting with this present moment, the sensations in your body and the quality of present. And then finally, letting your upper body bend forward over your thighs, slowly bending the upper body to rest over your thighs. staying and stopping where it feels comfortable and relaxing also your neck. If possible finding length through the spine, through the back of the neck, and relaxing on the out-breath. How much can you lengthen on the in-breath? How much can you feel on the out-breath? So now getting ready to return with a sense of stacking each vertebrate on top of each other. So as you're returning, slowly rolling up the sense of balancing the vertebrates on top of each other. So your entire spine, all the way from the sit bone up 
through the back of the neck to the top of your head, simply balancing and finding stillness, closing your eyes, and simply feeling this shift from movement into stillness. Sensing the quality of presence, letting go of any control of the breath, just letting the breath be free, staying with the experience of the body. You can stay here for as long as you wish. And when you feel ready, you can bring this practice to a close. Thank you.